What is an encounter with Lux Prima? Fundamentally at its roots, it's getting back to listening to music as a group of people. Nowadays, we have all this isolation. We never actually get together and listen to music anymore. It was like a, a, a major manifestation making this, um, making this thing come to life. I've never sort of attempted anything so ambitious and so sort of abstract in a way. The creation of this whole idea, where it came from, was we want to bring people together, we want to create some installation which is fully transported. Ren took the music and the sound effects our timeline and started creating a 3D mix that traveled around the room. And to hear the music like that was pretty extraordinary. Because of the design of the piece, which is this beautiful stone in the center of the room, what we're attempting to do is to create sort of an immersive experience with the sound, make it feel like we are part of the music and part of the experience. So it was very challenging because we had to figure out a way to make it a 360 degree sound field, yet have um, isolation so that each person, no matter where they are in the audience, feels like the music is coming toward them. Once we started collaborating, we have created a shared Dropbox and so all of the artwork is on there and the music is on there so all of the transitions for example that we were uh, creating um, I would do variations and send them to, to Karen and to Barnaby and to Danger Mouse. For me at least I've never been a part of anything like this before so it reminds me of the reason why I got into this in the first place. It's nice because everyone's just coming from the same place of, of just like a genuine excitement for music. I kind of started in this living room with these speakers and ended up, you know, um, at the Marciano Art Foundation. <laughs> The idea of bringing people together and sharing it in this experience, it's nice to have an anchor and that's what the rock does. And its surfaces and its beautiful contours add a dimension to the image which, you know, immediately brings it alive and turns it into something special. That's the totem which everybody is looking at, is the rock, but at the same time, we then want to take you out of that. We want to take you all around the room and the space. Preparing to, to do this installment, we had to figure out a um, sense of direction. Everyone had to, to work towards the same focal point. And lighting it, all we're doing is enhancing the, the experience of, of the soundscape that we're in. Everybody will walk away with their own experience, their own unique experience. And it's a journey and I hope that people go in not really knowing what to expect and then they come out as if they've been on some kind of journey. It's a chance to bring people together, first and foremost.